Daniel Kilby. I'm a third year robotics engineering student undertaking my world placement at the Australian Industrial Transformation Institute, or AT for short. AT is an institute of the Flinders College of Business, Government and Law with the aim of improving and supporting growth within Australian industry. The new digital transformation lab where I have been working in particular is focused on manufacturing. Uh, working to advertise, educate and assist in the development of manufacturing applications. For a bit of background, the Dusan M1013 Collaborative Robot, or Cobot for short, is provided to the Digital Transformation Lab by a company called Diverseco. This is on a loan basis for this project. The Cobot has many safety features, including joint torque sensing that allows its operation outside of a caged environment. The primary focus of my project is to research and develop a robotic wine pouring application using several sensing technologies to enable the pouring of controlled amounts of wine from one or more bottles into wine glasses. The DTL, uh, the Digital Transformation Lab, has a sponsorship program that aims to showcase advanced manufacturing technologies donated or loaned to the lab. This project is highly dependent on the sensing technology available through, through this program. Due to this highly dynamic environment, the project was developed following agile principles. As new components and methods became available or researched, isolated trials were conducted, assessing the feasibility of implementation into a final system. Given the industry supervisor's preference for large scope exploration and showcasing opposed to a final product delivery, no timeline could be implemented. The proposed design for this application was to measure the volume of a known bottle through its weight and determine the required pouring angles from previously recorded data, where live measurements of glasses would signal the end of pouring conditions. To gather the necessary data, a Python script was used to record the angle of a full wine bottle and the weight of a vessel as the bottle was poured into it. The weight of poured liquid is considered equal to the volume. The device was used to record the angle was an inertial measurement unit situated on the bottle and for the vessel weight, a digital balance. These sensors transmitted the values through serial communication cables. The Python script stored data into a temporary text file where at the end of recording, it would process the recorded measurements into respective bottle volumes, uh, storing the processed data into a final text file to be used by the robotic system. Autodesk Inventor and 3D printing were heavily utilised within the wheel placement period. Uh, major designs included an intermediate mounting plate for the Cobot with compatibility for Universal Robots UR16, 10 and 5 were also incorporated in the design as consideration for reuse, reusability following the end of the loan agreement. Custom fingertips 3D printed with a higher friction soft material adhered to the gripping surface ensure the tight hold of the wine bottles, where the gripper provides up to 40 newtons of force, where at that newtons of force, uh, the wine bottle was extremely difficult to remove. So this satisfied concerns of a bottle dropping risk. Uh, this design can also remove caps from new bottles if the bottle is held in place by another mechanism. Wine bottle jigs were used to position bottles for pick and place motions. Uh, before the digital balance could be acquired on November 3rd, an early prototype application performed a successful blind pouring demonstration. This was during a networking event with the Flinders New Venture Institute. This demonstration picked up a bottle of wine, pouring it evenly into six glasses before placing the empty bottle back into its placement. While it did require a full bottle of specific shape and glasses fixed in, placed in fixed positions, the system still performed this task with minimal spillage. The demonstration received a lot of interest from guests and event organisers were thankful for the robotics magic that this provided. And that's about it. I'll let this uh, video finish and then we can move, we can move on to questions. Well, you can move on to questions now. Okay, th thank you, Daniel. Um, I'll open it up for any questions that you might have. Yeah, Daniel.
Ten. Good work, really. It's quite interesting and very nice. How did you measure the rate? Is it just using a normal uh, scale? I saw the scale, but when you are pouring, do you still measure the weight or it is just before? Uh, yes, so uh, I should probably stop sh start sharing, sharing my video, shouldn't I? Yeah. So yeah, so basically the aim is to use the digital balance that are used to measure the data. Um, I was going to use that for measuring the glass what the weight of the glasses. So as a as a bottle poured a glass of wine, the digital balances would monitor that as it's being filled up, and then when it reaches the desired fill level, it would send a signal, or the program would send a signal to the robot to stop the pouring action. So the scale is under the glasses. You mean? You mean? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yes, the, the scale would be underneath the. Um, robot when it's pouring out. I've even got a, a wine glass jig that would hold the glasses on the scales nice and solidly. Um, but I haven't quite implemented that into an automated system yet, but it has been done, uh, put through as a trial uh, where I had it hooked up to a Python program that just monitored, monitored it and uh, did alert me when it reached that level. At the start of the program, uh, start of the project, you would you were capturing data from a uh, manually pouring uh, wine from glasses. So what was the what was the purpose of that data capture? Sorry. Um, um. Um, so if the bottle if there was a bottle put into the system that was half filled, uh, I need I figured there needs to be some way the robot can figure out that this bottle is half full, and I need to start pouring it from a much deeper angle. Uh, so if it weighs a bottle, it will be able to go to the lookup table for the data. It can look up the data and say, okay, the bottle's this heavy, so I need to start at this angle when I'm pouring. Okay. It, it also provides you a, good, a nice graph of the angular velocity um, and uh, the pour flow rate of, for that angular velocity, and which helps me determine that the pouring speed needs to be about five, half a degree to a full degree per second. Thank you. Um, was there was there any capability to measure the weight of the bottle while it's pouring? Yes. Um, uh, so the bottle itself is a bit of a difficult one. The robot's joints force the force sensors in the robot does have an ability to weigh payloads, but that I did some tests where I did a mock pouring demonstration uh, because the tall center point was positioned at the lip of the bottle. Um, there were some difficulties where the, the weight the robot would record were not lining up. Um, and it also takes more than half a second to do that while the robot's not moving. Uh, so that's why the glasses are going to measure. It's, that's why I thought a good uh, alternative would be to have it measure the weight of the glasses as they're being um, poured into. Um, there's plenty more questions we could ask, but unfortunately, we. We don't have the time for any more. Thank you for your um, Yeah, unfortunately we can't do a lot of clapping or, or uh, anything like that because the sound wouldn't go through very well. But uh, thanks for your presentation. Um,